The film project actually started when I was on the Lesley University campus in Cambridge, Massachusetts, working with uh, students involved with the MFA program for writing for stage and screen. I learned the university was also known for its expressive therapy program. Now, after decades of writing for television, film, and theater, I realized that writing is definitely a form of therapy. What about comedy? I think, I think that's one of the coolest things about comedy is, is perspective, right? The perspective of the, of the comedian versus perspective of the audience, you know, and why those two different perspectives are therapeutic in different ways for those people. You know, nobody heckles at the ballet. Somebody made that point recently, you know, nobody stands up and says, your pirouette sucks, you know, comedy's an art form. It's not a burden, it's something that I've loved, that's challenging. Cause there ain't no murder like suicide. So for the comedian, obviously it's an outlet for them. Uh, it's a way to be creative. It's a form of expressive art therapy perhaps, right? Um, it's a way to fight demons. It's a way to um, you know, build self-confidence and kind of break through barriers that they might be experiencing in their personal lives. There's always that relief that I did it. You know, I got up there. And no matter how you know bad or good or whatever it was that night, I still did it, and I'm proud of myself at the end of it. Even if you don't, you're gonna think you're bombing because everyone out there really doesn't give a shit about yeah. you. Every <laughs> everyone bombs their first time, everyone. and no one bombs their first mm -hmm. time. And for the audience, it's it's therapeutic in a different way. Going to a comedy show is is it, it forces you either intentionally or unintentionally to detach uh, from your phone and from technology and from all other things and just be present. Cause there ain't no murder like suicide.